the party leader of Ford Kenya, our good brother, Senator Moses Fetangula, to make some remarks. Much, Your Excellency, uh, Deputy President, and now our merited candidate for the leadership of our country. Let me start by congratulating my good friend and brother, Rigat Kashagwa, for being given the role of running mate and now being our presumptive a Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya come 9th August this year. In doing so, I want to urge fellow Kenyans as people of faith, as people of hope, that now we begin the illustrious journey on our last lap to start the reconstruction of our country's economy, the restoration of our people's aspirations and hope, and above all, the restoration of Kenya's position as a team leader in this region. Among the many things that our government of Kenya Kwanzaa will pay attention to is the role of Kenya as a beacon of hope and peace and the giant of the East African region, the Horn of Africa and the Great Lakes region. We are a country that has been punching below our weight in this regard and I want to urge our leader, our incoming president and all of us here assembled and Kenyans of goodwill that our future economic growth will among other things depend on how we engage our regional trading partners of Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, South Sudan, Somalia, DR Congo, Ethiopia and that many of us who have a historical traction in this regard will put in our role to make sure that it turns into a benefit to our economy. This country has many challenges, but all these challenges will be met by men and women of greater vigor, determination and focus to ensure that our country and people of our country who have been toiling and moiling in the heat and the cold of our various weather patterns in the country will finally take the benefits of their sweat. From the cane farmer in the west and the coast, the coffee farmer in many parts of the country, the tea farmer, the rice farmer, every farmer in this country is hurting because of the cost of inputs, the inferiority of seeds, and above all, the minimal, if anything, to talk about returns from their sweat. When the president in waiting talks of GMR, guaranteed minimum returns, it automatically puts a smile on the face of every farmer who will now be going into the activities literally in what they call in other jurisdictions contractual farming. And we know it is farming that employs the bulk of our workforce in this country. I want to urge that all of us, from the young hustlers on the streets of every market and town in Kenya, to those in high offices, the clarion call is one, that the pain and suffering Kenyans are going through is not limited to those who are paining. It must touch the hearts of even those who are not in the line of the pain.
because our country, with our huge and ever-growing population, listed by the UNDP as a country with one of the best well-educated human resources, can be able to do a lot better than we do, and this will come from a focused, determined, pro-people administration that will not be focused on grandiose programs and projects, but will be focused on how to lift the ordinary person, the mamamboga in the villages, who every day wakes up with a nightmare on whether their children will have food on the table, whether their children will be in school, and whether the little possessions they have will fall in the hands of the hammer of the auctioneer because of petty borrowing. We are going to put everything in place to make every Kenyan's life worth their while, and we urge all Kenyans that there is no alternative to Kenya Kwanzaa. Our worthwhile competitors are focused on grandiose of consumption. We are focused on production before consumption. And that is how to grow a country. And growing the country we will, we pray that from Vanga to Kibish, from Lamu to Malaba, Every Kenyan on the tip of Mount Kenya and Mount Elgon thinks positively and sees William Samuel Ruto and regard Kashagwa and all of us here assembled as the safest pair of hands to carry our country forward. We have tried the alternative and we can only sum it up in the words of one writer who called it the lunatic and thinkable. <laughs> we now must focus on the possibilities of the Kenya people being what they must be. May God bless Kenya. May God bless our captain and his deputy. And may all of us constantly know that we must ask ourselves what we are putting in and not what we are taking out of this journey. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, the Honorable Moses Otangula, famously known as uh, Papa Waroma. Let me ask our sister Anne Mombe Waiguru, who was also.